Hello everyone, I'm your host CH. Welcome to Lian Lee's 2024 Digital Expo. It's been over a year since our last digital event. And since then, we've launched quite a few new products such as multiple versions of Unifans, Galahad AIOs, O11 cases, and more. It is our pleasure to start the year with a new round of updates on our upcoming products. In this first video, we're diving straight into the cases. We've got updates on the SUP-01, a sneak peek at the Dan Cases A3, a twist on the O11 Vision with the Back Connect version, plus the O11 Vision Chrome. Make sure to stick around after the expo as CEO Jameson Chen will be having a roundtable with Stuart Tonks from GGF Vets, Justin Roby from Robitech, and Pedro from PC Master Race. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Opening our 2024 Digital Expo is the SUP-01, as with all our products to be presented today, the SUP-01 is still in its prototype phase and design changes might take place. Some of you might have had a glimpse of this case from Computex 2023. To recap, the SUP-01 is a 45 liter case designed to have a minimum footprint without sacrificing performance and thermal efficiency. It offers a different PC aesthetic than small form factor cases, with the graphics card being at the front of the unit, a main chamber dedicated to the motherboard, and the bulk of the cooling solution moved to the right side of the case. The front, top, and right sides of the SUP-01 are equipped with airflow optimized mesh panels to ensure excellent cooling. On that note, our testing has proven that with similar hardware, the SUP-01 provides similar cooling performance when compared with our very own Landcool 216. Outside the case, you'll see the I.O. is located at the bottom of the left side panel and includes two USB 3.0, a USB Type-C, an audio jack, and color control buttons for the RGB strip located above the PSU shroud and on the PCIe riser bracket. At the bottom of the front panel, you'll find the case's power button disguised as the Lian Li logo. As we remove the side panels and make our way inside the case, we can have a closer look at the GPU. The concept of the SUP-01 is to place the GPU's fan as close to the front mesh as possible to provide it with the best cooling without sacrificing the aesthetic of the case. And to do so, the GPU mounting bracket provides horizontal and vertical adjustment to ensure GPU compatibility and also to properly center it. At the top, an additional bracket is in place to secure the GPU if moving the case around is required. The SUP-01 is not your traditional case in terms of airflow configuration with the GPU fans acting as front intake, the rear 120mm fan, which can be installed on the outside of the frame over the expansion slots, is also to be set as intake, and the right side fans are all intended to be set as exhaust. This configuration provides the best cooling scenario for both the GPU and CPU. In the right chamber, two fan brackets can host up to six 120mm fans, one for a set of three exhaust fans, which will come pre-populated with three non-RGB fans and another for up to 280 or 360 AIO radiator with fans. In the main chamber, you'll find support for up to an ATX motherboard, a pre-mounted PCIe 4.0 riser cable with a bracket that features an ARGB strip, plenty of pass-through holes for the power and riser cables, and for the AIO tubes, and expansion slots for half-height cards. While CPU cooler towers of up to 81.4 mm in height can be installed, the best thermals will be achieved with an AIO or custom Waller cooling loop. In terms of storage, the SUP-01 features two mounting points for SSDs above the PSU shroud under a removable bracket, which keeps the look of the PC clean. In the PSU chamber, a removable drive cage can support up to two additional SSDs or 3.5 inch HDDs. Finally, magnetic dust filters are provided at the front and side of the case plus a trace style filter below the case for the PSU. A black and white version of the SUP-01 is expected to be available in early Q2 this year at an MSRP of $149.99. Our next case is a collaboration that was teased last year and has been a work in progress since then. We are of course referring to the Dan Cases A3. This MATX case is an all mesh enclosure made of steel panels except for the front, which is made of fabric and adds a touch of style. As we remove all side panels, we can get full access to start our building experience. Located at the top and left side of the case are two fan radiator brackets, with the left one being removable that can support up to 360 radiators, three 120 millimeter fans, or two 140 millimeter fans each, depending on your hardware choice and layout configuration. The A3 is known for its flexibility, 
with a standard motherboard tray and horizontal graphics card layout. The power sits at the front of the case and cooling can be added at the top, left side, and rear of the case. In terms of compatibility, that's where things get interesting. The size and location of the PSU will determine what can be fitted in the A3. As a small form factor case, SFX PSUs are recommended, but ATX power supplies of up to 140 mm in length can also be installed on a bracket that can be adjusted in six different ways. Three positions are available at the front to mount the PSU. At the top, up to a 400 mm long GPU is supported with up to two 120 or 140 mm fans at the top. In the middle position, GPU size is reduced to 333 mm, but support for fans at the top increases to three 120s. In the bottom position, top cooling support compatibility gets upgraded to three 120 mm fans, plus a 360 radiator with a maximum total thickness of 55 mm, perfect for most AIOs. When installing the PSU at the front, cooling support at the side is limited to two 120 mm or 140 mm fans and up to a 240 or 280 mm radiator. Additionally, SSDs can be mounted next to the motherboard in the space between the PSU and the right side panel. Two 2.5 inch SSDs up to seven mm in thickness are supported. The three other PSU mounting positions are in place of these two SSDs beside the motherboard. In the upper position, graphics card up to 400 mm are supported while the top cooling is limited to one 140 mm or two 120 mm fans. In the middle position, GPU support is reduced to 257 mm, while the cooling at the top can be upgraded to two 140 mm or three 120 mm fans. In the lower position, the GPU support remains the same, but 360, 240 radiators can be installed at the top with a maximum thickness of 55 mm. Installing the PSU at the front has the advantage of allowing support with most 30 series or 4060, 70 Ti graphics cards within the length of 333mm while also accommodating AIO installations at the top. When mounting the PSU at the side, while GPU support is more limited, side cooling is upgraded to support up to three 120 or two 140 mm fans with radiators up to 360 or 280. It is important to note that when installing fans below, only triple slot cards with a maximum thickness of 61 mm can be installed. Storage-wise, the Dan Cases A3 features a movable bracket that can host up to two 2.5 inch SSDs beside the motherboard. The bracket can be moved into three positions. An additional 2.5 inch SSD or 3.5 inch HDD can be mounted at the bottom of the case, depending on your PSU location. The front IO consists of two USB type A, a power button, audio and mic jacks, and a USB type C port. The Dan Cases A3 offers a lot of cooling and compatibility for such a small enclosure and availability is expected at an MSRP of $69.99. As the design of this case gets fine-tuned, we are looking forward to seeing the performance number it can pull. The O11 Vision launch late last year has been quite a success and we are happy to announce a new variant of this case. Here is the O11 Vision Back Connect. As most of you would have noticed from Computex 2023, multiple motherboard manufacturers have shown interest in producing motherboards with no connection hub at the front to make the PC build as clean as possible. To support back connected and regular ATX MATX motherboards while keeping the pillarless frame, a few design changes were implemented. Starting with the motherboard tray, instead of being removable and adjustable, the tray is now fixed. The rear of the case only supports two 120 mm fans and no longer supports a 240 mm radiator. Additionally, the glass panels of the O11 Vision Back Connect are not tainted, allowing you to fully view your cableless build. MSRP for the O11 Vision Back Connect is expected to be $129.99, as this is a very early prototype. Some more ideas will be implemented into the design of this case, such as more optimal space usage above the motherboard for things like a small LCD display and improved cable management in the second chamber. Make sure to provide your ideas in the comments section. The last case for the first part of this digital expo has been expected by the O11 Vision fans. We are happy to announce the O11 Vision Chrome Edition today. Keeping the same great features of the original O11 Vision, the Chrome Edition is equipped with chrome-plated glass panels for that slick, reflective look. The O11 Vision Chrome MSRP is set for $149.99 and is available for pre-order at Newegg, Case King, and Overclockers UK starting today. 
Purchase links can be found in the description of this video. This wraps up the first part of the Lian Lee 2024 Digital Expo, which covers our case prototypes. Make sure to check out the second part for cool updates on a new AIO, an out-of-the-box design for a new PSU, and updates on the design concept of our new standing desk, the DK07. Also, stick around after our expo as the CEO, Jameson Chen, will be hosting a roundtable talk with GGF Events, Robitech, and the founder of PCMR. Don't forget to leave a comment below and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Reddit, and Twitter for the latest updates. I'm your host, CH. Thanks for watching.